Uh, so this is the first unit syllabus. Is it visible for you? Yes, sir. Okay. So today, what we'll do is we'll start the uh, first uh, topic. So can you take a screenshot of this uh, syllabus? Okay. Yes. Oh, sir. Talks. Okay. So what we'll do is uh, yesterday I took a consensus from you people. So what you told me was the first part that is batteries and charging systems are known to you. So I will send you the full syllabus of this subject today itself. So we have started 10 minutes late. So I'll leave you by 11.55. Uh, so okay. I'll take 10 minutes there, that side. Uh, so batteries and all you have started already. So what we are going to say is principles and construction of lead acid battery and characteristics of battery, rating capacity, efficiency, uh, charging methods, constructional aspect of alkaline battery. So these are actually very uh, easy, simple topics. So we don't take much time. Uh, the next uh, topic is uh, generation of DC. So direct current is DC, then shunt generator, then alter armature reaction, uh, third brush regulation, cutoff voltage current. So all those things we can check uh, tomorrow. Okay. okay, so this thing is taken. Okay. So I think I can go to the uh, next part. So I will upload now uh, the book, which is called as uh, which is known as Denton. So that book I will upload now. Okay. Somebody has joined just now. Sir, uh, that Pranita is telling that you are not accepting a request. Sir. I have accepted just now. Yeah, Pranita, oh, Pranita Osmani. Pranita, can you see the screen? Pranita, just reply. Can you see the screen? Uh, uh, yes, sir. So, uh, there is a syllabus. There is a syllabus yeah, given. Yes, Can sir. you take a uh, screenshot of that? Me. Okay, so you have taken the screenshot. So I'm just removing that part. So what we'll be doing is we'll be doing the first first part of that so yeah. batteries and all we will start and uh, before i start the battery thing and all uh, can you anybody tell me what is the unit for charge electrical charge can anybody tell me what is the unit of charge Okay, another person is starting. Okay, why are you joining so late, Iram and uh, Pranita? Why are you almost 15 minutes late? Is there any specific problem in connecting or uh, there was something from your side? So while connecting. Nee, but I am uh, waiting from 10.55, right? I did not find anybody. I am just found out you two now. So I'll be starting from uh, whatever time is given. I'll start exactly at that time. I will not wait even for five minutes. OK, so tomorrow onwards, please uh, be on time. So tomorrow I have, I'm scheduling a lecture at 3 p.m. So I'll start at 3 p.m. Yes, the rule is you are supposed to join five minutes early. OK, so don't be late because for you, this Naveen is waiting from 11 o'clock. And I'm also waiting from 11 o'clock. So please don't be casual from uh, starting itself. OK, so this is the first lecture. That's what I'm repeating all these things. So please start at due time. Or if you're joining late, you'll be missing something. Then it will be difficult to cope up. OK, so there is uh, the syllabus and books and all these things. I told I will uh, upload yesterday, but I could not do it. So today, definitely, I'll be doing it. So I am sharing a book PDF. Just see whether it's visible to you or not. Is it visible? OK, so yeah. this is a book. Uh, I will be sending you the hard copy of this thing. And left side, you can check. So whenever you are seeing PDF. So now this is a, a specific situation, Corona situation. So uh, you should be comfortable reading from uh, PDF and all online reading. You should be, you should be able to do. So in the left side, you can see the syllabus of that, and uh, 
all of you have taken the syllabus of module one, right, Iram? Yes. You don't mute, okay? All of you, uh, you don't mute. You just be in, uh, okay? Because don't mute it. Uh, you just keep your uh, audio in an active mode. Because before start, I will be asking you a few questions and then I'll start. Not every day it will happen like that. Okay, so all of you have the syllabus and you can check the first topic is the battery. And uh, in this, where do you find the battery chapter? So can Navin read the first chapter? What is the content of the book? Yes. Navin, can you read the first chapter? What is the content of the book? Sir, I, I don't have the book contents. Hello? Hello, sir. Left side, the content is given. Can you read what is the content of chapter one? Development of automobile auto, automobile electrical system. Very good. Uh, Pranita, can you read content number two? Chapter two. Hello. Pranita, can you read what is the content number two? Iram, can you read what is the content of two, chapter two? Electrical and electronic properties, principles, sorry, principles. Okay, and third is tools and equipment, visible? And equipment. Okay, Pranita, yes. can you read chapter four content? I don't know, can't understand you people. Anyways, okay, so chapter number uh, five, you can check there is the batteries, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, what to do is you have to open the book and directly click on this chapter number five. Okay, so this is the way you are supposed to read books. Do you know all this, how to read PDF books? Yes, sir. Okay, so what is the content of uh, this chapter, batteries? What are the first topics and other things? Can anybody tell me? So it is principles. In the uh, syllabus, the first chapter is principle of construction of lead acid battery. So this is a, a very basic uh, battery that we had. We all have seen the simple pencil cells and other thing. They are uh, the lead acid battery and uh, we all have seen that but uh, presently what all batteries we are using in mobile phone and all that is not lead acid battery okay so that is something else it so what all ion. things we are supposed to know what is that please repeat lithium ion, lithium -ion you said i think yeah uh, can you tell me what is the speciality of that tell me uh, uh. Speciality of that is, uh, it is fa fast charging. So, just what what do you think should be a battery like? Ideal case, what should be a battery like? Uh, should should have a longer life, sir. Should have longer life. Re okay, Navin, I I sorry, I, I could not hear you. Can just can you just repeat again? The longer life of the battery. longer lifetime very good so that is the first see whenever we are uh, studying something we should know what is the ideal case and then we should see what is uh, present status of uh, research in that case and how can we achieve that ideal uh, case so that is uh, there so what is the uh, ideal feature of the battery uh, if you are having pen and paper first thing you can write down that is uh, it should be uh, it should take very minimum time for charging so that is the first thing so just write down all those things, we'll be finding it in the book also. Minimum time for charging, okay? And second thing is maximum time for discharging. So what Navin said, uh, longer life. Longer life means to discharge, it will take long, long, long time. Okay, something I will tell you, a new name. Uh, you have to find it in Wikipedia and you have to tell me tomorrow. 
just write down this uh, uh, thing which is called as ultra capacitor heard of it ultra have anybody uh, heard of this term ultra capacitor so just search this thing in wikipedia i have written in uh, our chat box ultra capacitor so instead of battery we are using ultra capacitor in certain places uh, as a substitute for battery but battery and ultra capacitor they are not same okay but ultra capacitor is also holding uh, dc charge and ultra capacitor is also holding uh, charge for a longer time and whenever required it is giving us the uh, charge whatever required okay so certain times in vehicle also instead of battery so this is a new technology instead of battery we are using ultra capacitor okay so what are the characteristic first characteristic is it should be uh, getting charged in minimum time it should get discharged in uh, maximum amount of time that is same as longer life any other characteristics pranita you have joined right pranita okay just with these two characteristics of battery we have found out any other characteristic of battery you want uh, you know ideal feature ideal battery should be like so navina iram they have said one one minimum charging time maximum discharging time third point anything comes to your mind uh, ideal battery pardon uh, with respect to the characteristics or uh... anything i want ideal battery what it should be like yeah characteristics only so it should have zero internal resistance very good very big point you have told so why should it have zero internal resistance so if some internal resistance is large, there then what happens there will be a large uh, drop voltage drop across that you cannot say large so uh, third point you all can write down that internal resistance of the battery ideally should be zero okay so i'm giving you dictating some kind of notes so first is minimum charging time maximum discharging time internal resistance of battery ideally should be equal to zero because even if see generally batteries are having internal resistance in the order of 0.5 ohm 1 ohm 2 ohm not more than that it cannot have internal resistance as 1 kilo ohm or something so whenever you are uh, studying some parameter know how much is the uh, what is the value Uh, can anybody tell me what is the human temperature or human body temperature in fahrenheit ideally 92 sir 90 it's 98.4 degree centigrade hmm. so this is something this is something uh, some things you should know how much is the temperature today in belgaum 20 is it 40 degree 23 degree 23 is it 40 degree yes or no No, it is not 40 right no and uh, is it uh, 10 degree no no sir no okay so it is in the range of 20 to 25 degree so this is the kind of a range that we are supposed to know sometimes you cannot exactly tell me what is the value but at least the range you should know somebody saying human body temperature 92 degree means the person is kind of a dead okay so 90 degree is very less temperature blood might not function uh, properly in that temperature okay a car a vehicle a vehicle can uh, work in lesser temperature as well as in higher temperature but if you make uh, the temperature as minus 50 degree centigrade uh, what will happen to the car will it function will it start navin you can answer no sir it will not start sir. so what what exactly portion of the car that will not function sir uh, the oil get with uh, the viscosity of oil will be reduced sir viscosity will increase actually ha ah, right so as temperature reduces the viscosity increases and the viscosity increases the uh, oil will get jammed okay and if the oil gets jammed then the car will not start so ignition will give you a problem so uh, whatever car we are designing whatever vehicle we are designing maybe up to minus 10 degree centigrade it might uh, uh, function but uh, minus 20 minus 30 that might not work so the range is important for anything okay what is the unit of charge by the way so battery stores charge what is the unit of charge coulomb coulomb 
anybody hula very good can you tell me what is uh, how do you measure one coulomb so navin this is i i think it is not new for you uh, the unit of charge is coulomb so you don't mute your mic okay just keep the mic on so it's a kind of a discussion session okay can you tell me what is the how to define one coulomb ampere by seconds ampere by second or ampere into second Ampere into seconds. Okay, so if I say that through any point in the circuit or through any point in the battery in one second, I am getting one ampere current. Then whatever is the charge uh, that creating the current, so we know that. Uh, uh, can you tell me a relation between current and charge? Q is equal to electrical people. Sorry, uh, can I relationship go? between uh, relationship between current and charge. Cur current and charge per second will uh, account to one ampere of no, one ampere. I is equal to dQ by dt. Yes. Yes, sir. Navin, please write down all of you. Write down I is equal to dQ by dt or dQ dt. We don't call dQ by dt because it's a DQ differentiation. DQ. Or Q is equal to di by dt. What is the thing? Uh, what is the definition of charge? You said, uh, Iram. Uh, it is uh, for one amp. One ampere. Um, uh, it is a like, means for how much uh, quantity of electricity has been supplied for one second. Yeah, so one ampere into one second is equal to one, one coulomb. Into one, one coulomb. Yes, sir. So write it down. One coulomb is equal to one ampere into one ampere second. Into one second. Yes, sir. Okay. So can I say that one ampere is equal to? So if you have a pen and paper, just keep writing. So one coulomb is equal to one ampere into one second. So can I say one ampere is equal to one coulomb by one second? By one second. Yes, sir. Okay. So can I say that I is equal to dQ by dt? Or at least I is equal to Q by T. That much can I say? That is ampere is yes, equal sir. to coulomb by second. No, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So I is equal to dQ by dt. This is something you have to remember. And uh, okay. So definition of coulomb. Uh, if you want, you can write down. Uh, I'll give you the formal definition because before uh, starting the. Uh, Battery thing, we should know how much is the coulomb. So, what I'll do is I will just copy this thing in your chat box. And again, if you want, you can take a screenshot. That will be better. Visible? Yes, sir. So the coulomb is an international system of unit. It's SI unit of charge. Coulomb is six point two four into ten raised to so this is one zero one eight. It should be ten raised to eighteen. Yes, part of eighteen. Yes. Okay, six point two four one five into ten raised to eighteen elementary charges. So one zero one eight. It is wrong. It should be into ten raised to eighteen. Okay, the same number of electrons has the same magnitude but opposite sign of charge. That is charge in minus one. And one more paragraph. I will just copy and paste there. So these are the small notes that you should keep. So you can take a screenshots and uh, you can keep with you. One more thing I have just written. That one coulomb is equal to one ampere into one second. This is the something you should remember. And the ampere is defined by taking the. Fixed numerical value of the elementary charge. Elementary charge is what is meant by elementary charge? One point six zero two into ten to minus nineteen coulomb. Any bell rings in your mind? Heard of it anywhere? One point six zero two into ten to minus nineteen coulomb. This one on that is. That is the charge of an electron. Yes, sir. Twelfth me tha. Yes, sir. It was in, actually in school. Yes. So just write down all these things. Whatever is given here. 
So if you do one by one point six zero two into ten raised to min minus nineteen, you get that six point two four one into ten raised to eighteen. Now in समझ में आ रहा है क्या बोल रहा हूँ? हाँ सर. Okay. So if you do one by one point six zero two into ten raised to minus nineteen, you get this value that is six point two four into ten raised to eighteen. So one electron is having charge of one point six zero two into ten raised to minus nineteen coulomb. Now if you are getting Uh, one ampere for one second through any point in the circuit, you can say that this is equivalent to the charge of one coulomb. And why am I telling you uh, the about uh, <clears throat> the coulomb thing? Because I am actually uh, interested in finding out what is the uh, charge stored in the battery. So there is something else. Uh, so one uh, one point I have given, I asked you to prepare from Wikipedia. That is ultra capacitor. ultra capacitor. So I think you have written right. Yes. Super capacitor. Yeah. So ultra capacitor is something like that. It's a capacitor which is having very very less discharging time. That means discharge happens very 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 slow. So it might act as a battery. Okay. But battery and ultra capacitor they are different. Second thing you just write down SOC. That is state of charge. This is another parameter. Just write down that SOC. So SOC also means system on chip. System on chip. Heart of system on chip. Naveen. No sir. No. So you we are uh, doing something. Uh, we are doing something in the microfabrication fields. See uh, this uh, one thing I would like to tell you. This MTech students, you should not fear about exam and passing and scoring and all. Because you people are mature people, passing, scoring, first class distinction, all these things will automatically happen. Because your way of uh, uh, study and maturity is much more. So don't uh, worry about passing and scoring and all. So you start grabbing as much as knowledge possible within a very short span of time. And uh, M Tech is also for uh, doing many things, multidisciplinary thing in a very short span of time. Okay. So what is meant by SOC? System on chip. Previously, we used to give. Uh, now it is also what we what we do is we give a blood uh, for some testing, okay. And that blood goes and they keep the blood uh, for one two days. They test and after two days they give report, okay. In Corona time, COVID time, what was the main need was the COVID result should come uh, at once. That as soon as you give blood, you give that whether it's a COVID positive or negative. Does it happen in case of blood sugar? any idea can we know how much is my blood sugar in 2 seconds time anybody any idea is there any system or machine available in the market where i just give my blood one drop and it tells me your blood sugar is this much any idea so some uh, for diabetes patients it is there right yes sir it is there thing called yes sir so strip kind of thing comes so there comes a strip that strip you have to put in uh, some machine and on that machine there is a particular place you have to just prick your finger and you have to put your blood yes, and instantly it will tell you your fasting blood sugar is this much or uh, whatever so what is that thing that is actually a extension that is exactly not system on chip but that is a extension of that okay so anything anything happens uh, any detection kind of thing happens on very small chip so chip means you can say a uh, semiconductor chip okay so there are things inside that uh, semiconductor chip and all that uh, do some kind of calculation and tells you how much is the blood sugar so that is soc one full form is system on chip second thing is as per battery is concerned uh, what is soc pranita are you there Uh, yeah uh. so soc means state of charge so what is the uh, state of charge doing so you can write down state of charge actually tells us how much is the uh, charged remaining in the battery so one battery suppose i am charging full uh, i am having my laptop in laptop below there is a point it says that your battery is charged 60% your battery is charged 70% you are using your mobile mobile also it is continuously telling you your battery is 60% 70% or it is reducing okay. how does it happen any idea 
Discharge How does it happen? Sir. Any idea? Pardon, Navin. Answer, please. Discharging, sir. Battery discharging. Yeah. So, Select how much on. is the charge in your uh, mobile? It is shown sixty percent, thirty percent, fifty percent. But exactly how it happens? Question is clear. As so the electrons like travel from. So there is a sensor. As it is discharged, I think there is some calculation, auto calculation done. To yeah. So uh, calculation, calculation. Who does that? So there is a sensor actually. Ah, huh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So well, there is a sensor, and that sensor senses what? That sensor senses SOC. What is SOC? Um, charge remaining in the battery. State of charge. State of charge. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So that is a sensor, mm. uh, which senses how much is the or what is the status of charge stored in the battery. So uh, this you have to find out. This is point number two. So I am giving you more work, more than teaching. So just find out what are the SOC, what are the SOC sensors, what are the sensors available uh, in uh, market to find out uh, the battery state of charge. Now, in question is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. So just go to Wikipedia. You just type state of charge or go to any website. Google karo. Just say I want to see the your vehicle is there now. Uh, let's say it's a auto. Or, or it's a kind of autopilot mode. So there is a battery. There is a battery in the vehicle which is required for ignition and many other purposes. So if the battery is low, so many days you have not driven your car. What happens? The battery discharges. So car does not start. Mm -hmm. I think everybody, all of you know it. So then what we do is we push the car and we make the car uh, run for maybe some 10, 15, 20 meters or something. What happens when the rotation occurs at that time the battery gets charged and at least you get some ignition. Okay, so this is the old method. Nowadays what they do is they bring another battery, they put in your car battery, they charge your battery and the ignition starts the car. So these are the two methods. So there is something called as SOC which is called state of charge. So there is a sensor also which senses the state of charge. So there is a charge sensor. So what are the different types of charge sensor? Uh, that you have to tell me. Just go through, or if you have, if you can gather some one or two PDF or something. So in tomorrow's lecture, which is at 3 p.m. tomorrow, you have to show me. So just show some one or two things, whatever you have collected. Okay. So I think this uh, book first chapter is visible. This is the book of Denton. I will forward you the link tonight our full AEC, AECS syllabus and all the books that we will be doing. So this battery thing we will be doing from this Denton. So left side, Pranita, can you see the syllabus? Uh, can you see the uh, indexes of this book? Chapter one, chapter two, chapter yeah. three. Also directly you have to, if you want to go for charging, you have to click on chapter six. Okay. So it's a very colorful book, latest edition. So chapter five we are in. So I'm removing this. A chapter number so i think it is now visible let us just go through and let us understand what are the things so right side can you check one key fact what is fact. that battery can you just read it what is the key Lead fact can you just go has to date proved to be the most suitable choice for the vehicle use understandable yes, and sir. which company battery is shown here bosch okay so this should be your target so this Bosch, Mercedes and other things. So if you are planning, if you are not planning for PhD afterwards, so this companies should be your target afterward. So there is another company which is called Continental. There is Bosch, there is Mercedes and other things. Uh, Tata is also having their own wing for uh, vehicle and automotive. Have you heard of Mahindra and Mahindra? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, vehicles are Mahindra. So what is the... Uh, Plus point in Mahindra is Mahindra is a totally indigenous uh, vehicle and it is Indian. So Mahindra is uh, Indian uh, car manufacturer. Okay. So these are some of the companies. So whatever uh, battery you are using in mobile phone, is it lead acid battery or it is lithium ion? Lithium ion. It is lithium ion. So lithium ion we cannot use for car, right? Why not? Lithium ion is rechargeable. Car battery is also 
So the power required uh, for starting the ignition. So main thing is power required. See, uh, in in very short time, in very short time, we want very high power. Lithium ion cannot do that. So what is the positive of lithium ion, by the way? Why is it used in mobile phone, but it is not used in uh, car? So again, you have to go back to the first three, four lines that you have written. What are the ideal characteristics of a battery? A minimum charging time, maximum discharging time. Okay. And Pranita said a very important point. What is that? Internal resistance. Internal resistance should be zero. Okay. Zero. In that, a fourth point you can write down a very huge. Uh, so you, we are writing mainly about vehicles, right? So fourth thing is a uh, very high uh, discharge rate when required. So high power or high discharge rate when required. Discharge rate required. Not every time it will be required. Pranita, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So can you tell me a case in a vehicle when? Uh, you need high power from the vehicle, not battery I'm talking about, but you are driving a car, suppose you need low power and you need high power sometimes. So when do you, when is low power uh, or normal power in car is okay and when do you require high power? Uh, high power, uh, one is when I'm, uh, when there is a hilly region, when I'm climbing something, I need high power and one more is when, uh, when the car is standstill for in the snowfall region for a day and then when i'm Very trying good. to so this is this is this is the answer everybody has to understand that system does not go in a same pace throughout a requirement from system is not same so initially now we have just started lectures maybe 5 10 20 lectures initially we'll go very slow there is no exam pressure and uh, aram so we can complete the syllabus but as exam ap approaches syllabus accumulated maybe i have to call extra lectures maybe you will be listening three hours four hours of lectures every day so what happens is as time goes by in different situation battery has to behave differently but think of your mobile phone do you pressure do you pressurize your mobile phone or always you use the same uh, mobile phone in the same pace what do you think no no we pressurize it depending on our apps. So pressurize it. Suppose, suppose I, want, I want to watch. I want to watch two movies continuously. Okay, so that four hours or five hours, the heavy, uh, because you are watching movies from suppose uh, YouTube or internet maybe. So what all things your mobile phone is doing? Your mobile phone is receiving the data and it's receiving video data, chunk of data, and uh, then it is displaying all the data. Okay and it is producing sound, it is producing video. So all the things are happening at the same time. So in that case, you're actually pressurizing your video, uh, mobile phone. But what happens in case of, uh, suppose you are talking to somebody or you have just kept your mobile phone in idle mode, you are not using anything. So the discharge will be less, okay? So the lithium ion also, you are pressurizing sometime, lithium ion battery, and sometimes you are using it in a normal way so the same thing happens for car whenever we are uh, driving the car through hilly region or when we are climbing at that time we require much uh, power from the car and whenever we are on the plane at that time we want less power from the car okay so at certain time your battery uh, in the car will require huge discharge and sometimes it will be uh, using the same very normal kind of approach so lead acid battery can do that and bigger thing is lead acid battery is having a bigger volume lead acid battery uh, can give you very high discharge when required so that is the main thing uh, i think you can see the page right key fact a lead acid battery has two date two date means recently up to date proved to be the most suitable choice for vehicle use okay oh, what are the requirements of the vehicle battery Navin, can you read the first point? Yes, sir. Uh, to provide the power. Just I'll, I'll go through the first paragraph. So uh, it is saying the vehicle battery is used as a source of energy in the vehicle when the engine, hence, hence the uh, alternator, is not running. Uh, what is alternator, by the way? Alternator? Um, mechanical energy to electrical energy. Uh, Navin, heard of this term, alternator? 
yes sir so it is actually a kind of a ac generator pranita do you uh, agree yeah okay it's kind of an ac generator to mechanical huh? no 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 electrical to mechanical is motor oh, sorry motor. Uh, sorry, sorry. Me- it is mechanical, uh, mechanical to electrical to mechanical electrical. to electrical yeah, yeah, yeah. and there are two types of mechanical to electrical one is dc generator one is ac generator ac generator so this alternator is kind of a ac generator okay ac generator yeah so your engine is not running there is no alternator and other things a battery has a number of requirements which are listed below that means the whole power is supplied from the battery anybody heard of fuel cell yes sir yeah. uh, you have heard of fuel cell right so what is the input in case of fuel cell energy is generated from what chemical some chemical uh... which chemical it's simply hydrogen hydrogen liquid hydrogen, hydrogen and water yeah hydrogen we input uh, yes okay. if for moistening water, water. Of the, there is a membrane okay which is called uh, uh, there is a membrane uh, that membrane has to be hydrated and uh, that membrane actually separates the electron and the proton so electrons are separated and it flows through the circuit and uh, thus we get the electricity from fuel cell so fuel cell actually takes the hydrogen as the fuel and it generates electricity okay and alternator what does alternator take as the input so these are all energy conversion units what does alternator take as the input it takes the mechanical energy as the input and produces ac ac so alternate means that alternating current is there okay what is a dc generator hmm. what kind of input does it take electrical energy dc generator dc generator so all the generators are taking input as mechanical Me- mechanical only sir yes and producing direct current as the output so whenever i am saying generator uh ye pata hai fleming's left hand rule ya fleming's right hand rule yes sir so what is fleming's left hand rule which principle motor or generator motor left hand rule is motor so ye sab likh ke rakho what all discussion is happening ye sab likh ke rakho so fleming's left hand rule is for motor principle what all inputs we are giving is we are giving electrical input and flux that is magnetic flux and what we are getting is uh, the uh, movement as the output so fleming's left hand rule we are giving input as first one is electrical second one is flux flux is magnetic flux so two energies we are inputting one is electrical energy we are inputting one is magnetic energy we are inputting and we are getting mechanical energy as the output in case of fleming's left hand rule which is called as a motor principle what is generator principle generator principle is given by fleming's right hand rule right hand rule is yes, so understandable navin ye sab padhe ho 10th and other things okay yes. so fleming's right hand rule what all inputs we are giving see m- magnetic is a constant magnetic is required both in case of left hand rule as well as right hand rule theek okay? hai now in left hand rule the input is left hand rule the input is electrical output is mechanical right hand rule input is mechanical and output is electrical it's very easy to understand so magnetic is common for both left hand rule is called motor principle where we are giving uh, electrical as the input magnetic as the input and getting mechanical as the output that is motor principle and right hand is magnetic is constant as it was there in case of left hand in case of right hand rule we are giving magnetic and mechanical as the input and we are getting electrical as the output output okay so ye do cheez we have to understand and uh, okay uh, navin please read what is the first Uh, requirement of a vehicle battery so we have written our uh, ideal battery characteristics that is not for vehicle battery that is generally for any battery so battery we are using in case of mobile phone in case of vehicle also in case of uh, many other applications like ecg machine biomedical field any any anything but now onwards we will be restricting our discussion only to vehicle battery chalo read first line first point to provide power storage and uh, be able to supply it quickly enough to operate the vehicle starter motor so what is the most important 
two words you can pick up from this first line to provide power storage so first one is power storage i start to book okay and second one is quickly enough quickly enough to operate the start understandable so for me these are the two very important things i find so it has to store power can you store power in form of ac anita what do you think no it's always better to store it in the dc better nahi it we always store power in dc only right dc only uh, so yeah. it is power is stored in form of a charge and charge means generally we store in the form of dc only DC. so now when this is something uh, maybe something new for you i don't know so always remember that we cannot store power in the form of ac okay so ac we convert into dc and we uh, store some battery uh by means of the dc power and again uh, if we want ac from that so we take out dc from battery and convert into ac and supply so who which is the circuit that converts ac into dc what is the electronic circuit no ac into dc rectifier. is rectifier rectifier okay? rectifier to ye sab likh ke rakho ac into dc is rectifier and dc to ac is inverter Inverter. Now in understandable. Yes, sir. So if we are given a AC power, but I want a DC at the output, what will you use? Rectifier. So rectifier at the input side there is the AC, and outside there is the DC. And inverter. Inverter means it is inverting. For inverter, input side is DC, and output side is AC. AC. Okay. so first point to provide power storage this is one very important keyword and be able to supply it quickly enough quickly enough means what anybody guys quickly enough uh, quickly enough means likh ke rakho dq by dt is high uh, dq by dt yeah. that means in a very small amount of time huge amount of charge has to be given that means rate of change of charge is very high so dq dt is called as rate of change of charge understandable so quickly enough means the rate of change of charge it has to apply it has to supply very fast within very small amount of time it has to give very high amount of charge to the whatever operation it is performing it has to be given so what is the main operation it is performed it is performing starting of the motor motor okay navin can you tell me what is the type of dc motor which is having highest starting torque starting have you studied different types of dc motors i studied yes sir navin yes sir have you just uh, can you just name one or two characteristics i am not asking but uh, what are the different types of dc motors anybody electrical people there is dc series motor there is dc series motor there is dc shunt motor there is dc compound motor compound 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 right navin yes ek dc series dc shunt and dc compound which type of motor would you use in case of a car i think you have taken a screenshot right of the syllabus yes sir yes sir okay so there you can you can see the third third thing so first topic is battery second topic is charging system third topic is starting system which motor is mentioned there uh, series motors understandable this is series motor yes understandable what is that so starting system it is about condition at starting and series motor and its characteristics principle and construction of starter motor working of different starter drive units starter drive units so is it understandable what kind of dc motor we are using for starting so this motor is dc series motor why are we using dc series motor for starting of the whole thing ek line likh ke rakho because this series motor is having huge starting torque very good so it is having very high starting torque so lift wagera jo sab rehta hai lift and hoist and crane and all those things where you have supposed to lift uh, weight suddenly jhat se upar uchhalna hai weight ko 
okay so there what kind of motor we use is we use dc series motor so that is the characteristic of dc series motor so ye jo quickly enough hai quickly enough so that quickly enough is going where that quickly enough charge is being given to a dc series motor which has to start instantly and uh, it has to pull the car anybody can you read the second point iram yes sir requirement of vehicle battery to allow the use of parking lights for a reasonable time so i won't have to explain this right we know so all the lights and other things signaling light parking light all those things that is run by battery parking lights yep. third point uh, to allow operation of accessories when the engine is not running can you explain a case to uh, sir i see sir window sir window uh, entertainment sir yes navin Or in uh, IT, system. sir. What IT? ICE. That is uh, in in car entertainment. ICE. Very good. So what happens is it's a very hot summer day. Okay, you are taking your mother uh, outside. So just you stopped in front of a shopping mall. You tell your mother you sit in the car. I will just get uh, something from the shopping mall. You cannot switch off the uh, car engine or you cannot switch off the battery. Or you want the AC to be on. Car is. Uh, not running but the ac you want to be on because your mother is sitting inside the car and you cannot pull your uh, glass down the glass of the car down so you will be keeping the uh, ac on and at that time who will be supplying the electricity to the ac it is the battery okay and what happens is sometimes <clears throat> if you are running the ac for longer period of time uh, without the car running at that time the battery gets discharged and next time when somebody comes and starts to tries to charge uh, start the car the car does not start so we uh, all have faced this kind of problems yeah uh, yeah this is understood uh, but one scenario is like uh, i don't know in present in present cars uh, the battery should be there uh, like the ignition should be on to allow the window movement but uh, there are the technologies which are coming up that without the power uh, supply of this Uh, the battery should without the battery on we have to have a visibility to operate our windows so there are yes so uh, what power. what is there so there is something called as distributed distributed control system so what you do is uh, instead of keeping one battery you just keep three batteries three batteries the parallel ones and then you yeah, parallel, to only uh, separate ones uh, totally separate ones one is an uh, characteristic of battery also you can change because uh, when the car is starting at the time <clears throat> battery requires huge discharge so that battery type you can keep different when the car is stop at the time you want your ac to be on or maybe the sound system to be playing so that battery does not require very uh, huge discharge <clears throat> because to run your uh, window or to run your uh, audio system you don't require huge discharge you require constant discharge so that battery type should be different mm. so actually now uh, the central control is not there what you are saying is very correct modern cars why has it happened you know because previous day whatever mechanical systems and whatever electronic system they used to design it used to be in big in size now as the days are going by we are able to design engines a uh, very smaller size we are putting the whole circuit in one chip okay so there is enough place available inside the engine nowadays and if you just open a, a electrical car engine uh, the front bonnet and all you will be finding there is absolutely nothing a huge amount of spaces are there so if you are having space you can afford to uh, keep many batteries there inside it okay so that is the thing now distributed batteries are there for different applications we can afford to keep different batteries Okay, so third point, I'm I'm running out of time, so it is already twelve. I'll just read these two lines and I'll be off. So to allow operation of accessories when the engine is not running, one is AC, another is sound system. You can say Pranita is saying Windows, correct? To act as a swamp to dump out fluctuations of system voltage. So if battery goes old at that time, uh, it cannot uh, continuously supply same amount of charge. So at that time, fluctuation happens. to compensate for that okay uh, we are keeping another battery so if there is uh, there is a fluctuation uh, that fluctuation has to be sustained or it has to be uh, rolled out actually it has to be stream uh, streamlined so for that 
uh, fluctuation check we can keep on battery so this point is a little difficult to understand tomorrow we can discuss final point to allow dynamic memory and cranking right this happens during cranking possible 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 sometime the car is uh, yes cranking also it gives some kind of jerk to the car but that time also we want a stable supply uh, it should be there and last point is to allow dynamic memory and alarm systems to remain active when the vehicle is left for a period of time uh, so these are some emergency kind of a thing so for all these five uh, uh, requirements uh, we require uh, some vehicle battery in case of, but the first thing is the main thing Okay, so I will be off. I'll be uh, uh, declaring this lecture here itself. And I'll be sending you all the books and syllabus as soon as possible. Thank you for joining. Please join tomorrow at 3 o'clock. And please don't be late. Okay? okay. Yes, so tomorrow we are having extra session because yesterday's session we lost. And next week onwards, we'll be having three lectures per week. And Monday, uh, Friday morning, we're having a practical. Uh, let us join exactly at 10 o'clock. We'll be doing... A uh, second order system response, mechanical as well as electrical. Thank you. I'm I'm just going off, signing off. You'll be here.